Hello. I have a confession, something I need to get off my chest right off the bat. I'm not proud of this, but I have acquired some outside information about the game. I have learned what the secret of the tree at the dead end is. I didn't mean to. That's not what I was intending to look up. But I watched, I very briefly watched a video that revealed that information to me. So I'm going to go uh, show, show that secret now. It's also a secret that is very beneficial to me at this, uh, at this particular juncture. Okay, let's see if I remember this. P hat, centaur green, right? Yeah. So, basically, I got to thinking about no sword runs, which I knew was a thing, uh, a challenge run where you never get the sword in the starting cave. I didn't know the specifics of that, and I just got to thinking, wait, how could that possibly work? Because there's no way to get rupees without killing enemies or bombing, uh, you know, bombing walls and finding secrets, you know, it's a secret to everyone, or burning bushes, uh, I guess. See, my thinking was, the first thing that you would do would go after the power bracelet, because that's something that you can get without having to kill any enemies, you just have to wake up that statue, and once you have the power bracelet, there are certain rocks that you can push that, that uh, give you rupees. And I just loaded up a video of one of those challenge runs very quickly. Um, so brown e hats, right? So I loaded up a video just because I wanted to confirm, you know, if that was if that was how it starts out. Because once you do that, I figure you can get the ball rolling and buy some bombs, which you can use to kill enemies and get more bombs and eventually get the bow and arrow and, you know, etc. But in the video that I watched, uh, I only watched a few seconds of it. Well, you know, a couple minutes of it. And the player immediately went to the tree with the money-making game. Which, uh, I think I'm on the right path here. Let me just, uh, yeah. So, the player immediately went here. And before I knew what was happening, he was going up here. So that's what the secret of the Tree of the Dead End is. It's 100 rupees. You know, no indication of this, you know, no, no hint as to you know, what about the tree is a secret. You just have to mash your face against every part of the wall, which I guess, you know, a real, uh, thorough player would probably come back there once they have enough bombs to bomb every segment of the, of the wall. And eventually they, they might stumble across that. But like, I don't know, I wouldn't, if I was bombing every part of this wall, I wouldn't necessarily even, like, push push against this wall. Like, I might just walk parallel to the wall like this and just place bombs at, you know, intervals. So, once I learned that, of course, I could not unlearn it. And this is very useful information to me because I just lost my big shield. And I need it back. I need my big shield. It's just a fact of life. And I didn't really want to grind out 100 more rupees, so I'm, uh, I'm using this knowledge, and you'll, you'll just have to forgive me. Okay, um, the one right next to the starting zone has a shield.
So this is P hats, so it would be centaur, green, brown rocks. So this is the first order of business, is to replace my shield. Which really it doesn't give me an advantage, per se. You know, if I hadn't lost my shield right at the end of that video, then it wouldn't be an issue. So I'm really just saving some t saving some time. Right, that's the secret that I found. The shop is over here. So yeah, uh, I I didn't watch any more, really. I didn't write down prices. Let's try the one over here to the west. Uh, I didn't watch any more of the video, but I, I assume that once you have that hundred rupees, you can you know start buying bombs. I mean that's enough for. Uh, Twenty bombs, which of course you can't hold all all at the, all at the same time, but uh, you know you can go back to the shop and, and buy more bombs when you need them. It would be very annoying to have to keep going back and forth to the bomb shop, but of course that's the point. It's a, it's a challenge run. It's supposed to be annoying. There we go. All right, Link. You're back in the game. I can now protect myself from these. And most importantly, the whiz robes. Because I'm sure I haven't seen the last of them. I'm here like, what am I doing using my sword like a chump? When I have the wand. I wish I could just replace the A button with the wand. Instead of having to, you know, go into my inventory and switch back to the wand all the time. But I, I guess that's the, the trade-off for how powerful it is. Which, you know, considering how good of an item it is, I'll take it. Alright, so next order of business. There's actually a section of the map that I meant to explore and forgot about because I got sidetracked and because the map is already you know filled in that part of the map is already visible which most of the map is uh, and I'm not marking off the the squares as I go or anything I'm not marking off which which screens I visited which maybe I should be but I forgot that I never actually went that way. So I'm going to do that now. I think I can get there going this way. Hmm. I'm sure I are already tried to bomb that wall. I'm still very flustered that I'm missing three overworld heart containers. And I have no idea where they are. Hopefully, the direction that I'm going, Fred, will, uh, will reveal one. That's what I'm hoping. Because there has to be at least one that's just easy to find, right? Like, they can't all be hidden, because otherwise you wouldn't know that there is anything to find. I may have just happened to not go this way. All of this horizontal wall, I could be bombing. I think the wand is actually a little bit better than the white sword. I don't know, it feels like you can fire projectiles more frequently. I don't know, I guess it's, I guess it's pretty similar.
Alright, I had some bombs, figured I might as well try. What's the last activated item? Uh... Is it the silver arrow replaces the wooden arrow. The red candle replaces... The oh. Well, no, the book is probably a passive item. Huh, I forget. Let me take a look. Oh, right, the enemy bait. I never... I never bought the big ol' hunk of meat. Maybe I should. I don't know, I feel like the enemies that I would actually want to distract like that would be ones that are uh, not susceptible to being distracted by food. Like the whiz robes. I don't think they would go after a hunk of meat. I think that's something that only affects the lower level enemies like Octorox and maybe Moblins. Also just makes such a good sound. Such a better sound effect than shooting the sword. Also it may have a wider hitbox? I don't know. Sure looks like it does, but that might just be a placebo effect. So once I'm done exploring this area, like, uh, okay, so you see how when an enemy dies I can sort of immediately shoot uh, a ray from the magic wand again? I think with the sword it has the same amount of cooldown whether you kill an enemy with it or not. It's sort of the impression that I have. You may fly free, fairy. Okay, so I'm I am into the part of the map that I haven't filled in yet. For a second I thought that's a silver arrow, but no, the sprite just looks kind of silvery, except for the head. Or the, uh, yeah, the head, the arrow head. The shaft looks kind of silvery. Hmm, I don't know, maybe this, maybe they do fire it at exactly the same rate. Hard to tell. I, pr I still prefer the wand, though. It's just more satisfying to use. Okay. Those bushes looked a little unique. Okay, so that's the entrance to level 8. Alright, so I don't I haven't been north from here. I need to continue going north. Oh hey! Look at that. Gosh, I didn't think it would be out, out in the open like that. I thought it would be like a cave where Where an old man offers me a heart and heart container or a potion. Like I thought that's how all of the overworld heart containers worked. Like I thought you always had the option, and you sh you should always pick the the heart container, of course. That is very helpful. Yeah, I think the sword might like the firing rate might be the same. Oh well. Hmm. Curious. Oh, that's another dock. Wait. I've already found all the dungeons. What is this? Oh! Huh. Oh. Okay, well, I, I guess they expected me to go this way early on. You know, giving you a heart container out there in the open that you need the ladder for, and then another one that you need the the raft for. So it's like, 
uh, the level 3 item and then the level 4 item, or, or vice versa. So the manual will refer to an old man by the ocean who would tell you which bush you need to burn to get to level 8. And I thought that's what this cave down here was going to be. But no, it's just a shop. I love this wand. It's going to be a bit before I can upgrade it. But that's okay. I wonder if it still makes the, the same sound effect once it shoots fire instead of Wizard magic, beams, a wave. I, th I, I think, yeah, I think I'll refer to it as a wave. Because that's what it looks like. It almost looks like I'm shooting, like, like a loud sonic wave at them. Like a sonic boom. I love that pulsating color effect. Something I wish games would do more of. Okay, well, I can definitely get the magic sword now, right? Surely, I have mastered using it. Okay, and I've, I've already been here. So I think that is 100% of the map explored. You know, there is another thing I wanted to check before I go to the next dungeon. I think I saw it on the map, yeah. There is a screen close to close to this one. So if I go, okay, so I need to go south. Like there's uh, a screen that I don't remember seeing on the map, so I want to go and check it out real quick. Basically once I go south from here, if you go left, that's the path towards level 2. And then if you go right, there's this unusual screen, which is these two statues here. And I don't remember doing this. It's possible that I did it very early on. Like in the first video. And I'm just forgetting. Okay, I must have. Okay. That will be it. I'm kind of bummed to learn that there are secrets that you find just by walking through unmarked illusion illusionary walls like i didn't know that was a thing in this game uh, all of the secrets were found by burning bushes or pushing rocks or bombing walls like i, I didn't know that there were secrets you could find just by walking into the wall at a certain spot because now anything could have one of those any screen that looks like a dead end. And I still don't know how to get the silver arrow. I checked the manual and it doesn't provide any sort of hint. Which uh, I know I will need that eventually. So... I'm a little, a little worried about that. Hopefully it's one of those just automatic items that you find. Like... Like in level 9 or something. Okay, just wanted to, to double check that. Uh, so... The quickest way to get to level 7 would be...
Um... Well, if I can Warp Whistle to level 3, that would be the closest. But, I don't know if it's going to be nice and, and allow me to do that. Alright, that's level 2. Ha! Saved by the tornado. Uh, that's level... Wait, is this level 3? Yeah, it totally is. It's green on the map. I mean, the, uh, the actual castle is green, not the... The, uh, the walls are, are green in the game, but on the map the castle is green too, so... A little odd. Before I do that, though... Wait, I don't want to go to level 7 yet. I need to check and see if I can get the magic sword. What am I thinking? Okay. Is this a medicine shop? No. The lady who, lady who gives me that hint. Okay. What's the quick, quickest way to do this here? I think fast traveling would actually be quicker than walking there. Or walking to the fast travel point would be quicker than walking there. And I can kill some easy goons on the way. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to map the second quest. Because I do want to at least try it. Hat centaurs. As, as far as I can tell, the overworld for the second quest is pretty much the same. I'll take some medicine. Like, I tried to get get an answer without without spoiling anything. Just, is the over, overworld the same? Uh, and I had a hard time just finding that because I don't want to look up a map of the second quest overworld because they're usually labeled with like dungeon locations and stuff and and I don't want to accidentally see anything like that. Oh hell yeah. Um, but as far as I can tell, uh, like, again, I, I didn't get a direct answer, but people seem to, seem to be implying that they're the same. In which case, I'll probably use, uh, I'll probably do it digi digitally and just use a copy of the overworld map with no labels because uh, I, I did find, you know, the over overworld map with uh, everything revealed and nothing labeled on it. Which I guess could be, um, you know, the first quest or the second quest or both. So I'll probably just do that and then I can just make notes on it. Maybe uh, make some icons that I can lay down. That's not what I want. This is what I want. What I really, really want. Okay, so I got the magic sword, which uh, is the best sword in the game.
centaurs, green, brown, um, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the starting area, which means now I don't just want to use my wand all the time because it's not as powerful as the, the magic sword. But when I take damage and I can no longer shoot my sword beam, I still have a medium power long range weapon, which is still going to be a really big deal. Man, I was not expecting to find two heart containers. That is wild. Like, I was hoping for one. So that means I'm just missing one, right? Well, no, because I assume you don't get a heart container from from the level 9 dungeon, because it's the last one. And you always get it after beating the boss. So, I need the one for level 7 and level 8. So that, that would mean that there are two st still two in the world to find. And I found three, so, so does that mean there's a total of five in the overworld? I must, I must have miscounted at some point. I thought there were four. Oh well. I'm not really expecting to try to track track down the last ones. Uh, I think finishing the game with 14 hearts is totally doable. I don't know if I necessarily need all 16. Which means my uh, my overworld exploration might be done. <clears throat> Unless I'm really struggling and I really need that uh, that extra boost. Oh, the, the bottle replaces the letter uh, when you buy the potion. That's clever. I just noticed that. So yeah, I, I know where all three of the remaining dungeons are. Like, I am still curious about that whole section with like the triang triangular rock formation. I wonder what that that's all about. I might go back there once I have some- well, I do have some more bombs. Maybe I'll do that after, after I beat another dungeon. All right, have I not done this yet? Or does this not stay drained? Oh, it looks like the lake fills back up once you leave. Interesting. Also, I like how the bushes change change color with it, because the blue is the same color in that palette. Alright, Dungeon 7. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as Dungeon 6. I really don't know what to expect. It's been a very long time since I've been in this dungeon, or seen it. Oh, fireworms. I haven't seen these in a while. Oh, I should've- I should've bombed walls before I picked those up. Damn it. Oh well. Okay, and... I'm going- I'm going to keep assuming that the bottom edge of the map is the bottom and that's that. Uh, unless I discover otherwise. Like if there's something that I'm- that I'm obviously missing. Ooh! These bats are in bat jail. Aw, my sword beam doesn't travel through the bats.
That much that must just be silver arrows. Cause I know that there's at least one weapon that can shoot through multiple enemies. And I was pretty sure silver arrows were one of them. But they might be ah dang it. They might they might be the only one. Yeah, these things hit twice as many hits with the wand. So, I'll just go up and stab them. Stabby stabby. Okay... Uh, this was the thing I need to play the flute. To weaken, right? Big Dogger? Yeah. Of course, this room is open. I might not necessarily even need to kill this thing, but it might drop an item, so... Better safe than sorry. The one nice thing about this dungeon, oh, that was kind of a waste again, uh, is that it's pretty much right next to a fairy spring, so if I need to bounce out of here and heal, it's uh, very quick. Of course, I would lose any any rooms that have been cleared, but so far, it seems like it's giving me a break. It's like the game knows how much of a hellhole level six was, and it's it's taking it easy on me and giving me some some old enemies to fight, some some weaker enemies, which I appreciate. Okay, no secrets yet. Also, no map or compass yet. The tip of the nose. Okay. I have found secrets in these in these hint rooms before, right? Pretty sure I have. Tip of the nose. This must be the elephant dungeon. I do like the, the UI in this game, but I wish it was just a little snappier. Having to wait for the, the full menu to open and then having to press left and right to navigate without being able to push up and down. So it's a little cumbersome. I mean, for the time, they, they, they did the best that they could, I'm sure. Like, I think it's just a very good-looking interface. Like, it gives you all of the information you need, nothing you don't, in a very straightforward manner. Hmm, what's the other passive item I can get? It doesn't show you whether you have the magic shield, which you can just tell that by looking at it. Oh, the, the passive item must be the, the book. Okay. <clears throat> Right. Check these walls. Excellent. Magic sword is back in business. Well, it's been in business. It's uh it's back in, in the delivery business. We no longer are limited to curbside pickup. We'll now bring the magic sword directly to you. And no extra charge. Alright, 
very basic bat rune. It's giving me an awful lot of bombs. I wonder if there will be a room full of dodongos that I have to clear out at some point. Yeah, this this level is almost suspiciously nice so far. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Ah. Hmm. Still haven't really figured out what the best way to deal with multiple Dodongos is. I do have enough bombs to destroy them by feeding, as long as I don't miss any. Shouldn't have wasted those first two though. Well, now I can't try to bomb that wall. Oh well, hopefully I find some more. I would like to have more bombs. I'll be back for you. Sorry if I sounded overly enthusiastic there. I don't know what came over me. I remember when we got the magic boomerang from one of the boomerang goblins. And we felt like that was good. Oh, how far we've come. Speaking of which, why is my- oh, I guess it just auto selects your boomerang once you run out of bombs. That's no good. You should auto select the wand. That should be like the default item if you uh, don't need anything else at the moment. Always go back to the wand. Always bet on wand. Nice. Oh, I need 14 more rupees. A whole more bombs. To beef up my bomb bag. Because the bomb bag I have is bad. It's a bad bomb bag. I need a beefy bomb bag. Should probably try pushing all those blocks. Grumble, grumble. Oh, you know what? I think I remember this. Yeah, okay. So I, I think you actually need the meat. I think that's what you have to do there. Oh, I forgot about that until just now. But it came back to me. Because I remember spending a long time trying to figure that out. Like that was one of the... One of the roadblocks I hit. I wonder if the manual hints that the meat might have another purpose or not. Hang on. I'm curious. Link can use this bait to lure the enemy and bump them off as they come to eat it. But watch out, this doesn't work for some of the enemy. And it has a cute little picture of two Octorok eating the meat. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really uh, give you a hint, although I guess if I was playing this for the first time, I would have bought the meat just because, you know, just to see what it did, and I probably would have tried it in that room 
Um, but, but I do remember taking some time to figure that out. Okay, so the question is, do I want to do that? Or do I want to buy more bombs and try bombing some of the walls? I haven't bombed yet. Man, that's gonna set me back from upgrading my bomb bag. So how much is the meat? It's like 60, right? Ow. It's in the shop full of expensive stuff, but I don't think it was as expensive as the... The ring. I do sort of see a nose forming, maybe. Down towards the bottom of the map. Oh! A skeleton was carrying a compass. Trying to defeat some boomerang goblins. Would you mind not spitting fireballs at me? Oh, I'll take that. They would mind not spitting fireballs at me. They would mind that very much. Oh, ooh, extra fairy. That's bad luck. Alright, well, <clears throat> I've already been all the way in that direction, and I don't have bombs to try bombing the tip of the nose, if that's what that is. So I guess I'm going to get the meat, and then come back. I hope I'm correct that that's what the solution is. Hey, free bombs. Nice. And free money. Okay, well hopefully it won't take me that long to... to buy the bomb upgrade. I feel like it's been more generous than usual about dropping money. Maybe the magic sword causes enemies to drop more than they normally would. That's one of its magic properties. I can one-shot the living statues now. That's nice. Okay, that's not too bad. 50 more rupees. What do you sell? Right. I wonder if 7 will end up being a puzzle dungeon. Like, it's much easier than Dungeon 6 as far as enemies and action go goes. But there are more, more cryptic puzzles that you have to solve, including this one. Well, that is an almost full inventory. And as soon as I get the book, it will be a full inventory. It won't be all the items, of course. I still need the red ring of death. Aww. And the silver arrow. And I think that's it, right? Those are the only great items I need. Yeah. Oh, and the red candle, of course. Well, I have four bombs, so let's see if my theory about the tip of the nose is correct. Of course, the secret might not involve bombing. Who knows? Get it? Who knows?
Ow. Stop harming me. I want to shoot my sword. Yeah, I was all gung-ho about the magic wand for like 30 seconds before I got the magic sword. Which is clearly superior. Oh, I wonder if the tip of the nose hint was just about the compass. Not that I would have known this is the tip of the nose at the time. Yeah, I think I are I already already tried bombing those. Um Yeah, not really anything else in this room that could indicate a secret. Okay. Onward and, and inward. I kind of like that each dungeon is a single floor. I don't know, it simplifies things. Like, dungeons don't have to be multiple floors to be interesting. I think except for like the slow movement speed and the whiz robes, this might be shaping up to be one of my favorite Zelda games. Because I like a lot about playing it. And really, the slow movement speed... You know, I'm becoming used to it, I think. It's a, it's a speed that makes sense for the, the size of the dungeons, for sure. It's just frustrating when you have a billion whiz robes you're trying to navigate around. Go free, my friend. super generous with the fairies too. I wonder if it like cranks up the item drop rates after you have a certain number of hearts or once you get the magic sword or some some other hidden variable. Hmm. I don't think I've tried bombing this way yet. I don't think I have bombs by the time I got here. Alright, let's see if I'm remembering this correctly. I was. Neat. Hmm. I guess it just switches to whatever the previous item in your inventory is. Those look like knights. No, no, just just goblins of some sort. I'm just gonna call them goblins. The ones on the overworld are moblins, and these are goblins. Oh, I see. I wasn't in the nose. I was in the chin. Well, no wonder I didn't find a secret. So, this way it looks like it might contain a secret. It does. Ooh! 
Three monies. Okay. I'm not gonna waste bombs here, because I assume I'll be able to get into the room on the right there. I can fight you goblins all day long. I would prefer to do it with a sword beam, but this, this will have to do. Dang, another fairy. Holy cow. This dungeon layout is looking a bit lizardy. I think. Ow! Walked right into that. I think the manual says it's a demon. Which I guess it could be a demon. A type of demon. Dang. They're in goblin jail. Ow. That's mean of the game. Oh, and, and now. Oh, that's interesting. So if you didn't have the wand here... Well, I guess you could just wait until it gets close enough to the edge and then bomb it. But it makes it a little bit more difficult to get in there. Hey, wreck handle! I was kind of expecting this to be a convoluted passageway. But no, it, it'll just give it to me. I'm happy to see that. Now I can start going around systematically burning every single bush. Dang, you have to, to bomb your way in here to to get the secret. Uh, or to get the to get the item. That's wild. Actually the more I look at the map, the top part doesn't really look like a nose either. It looks like the top the top part of a snout. Or just a wide open mouth. Alright. Have I not been in any... I have not been in any of those directions. But I, I haven't been up here either, right? Yeah. It's weird because if it's a shutter, it doesn't show it as a door. Which I think I was confused about that before. I'll take some Bomberinos. Also, the Blue Goblins, uh, their boomerang doesn't extend all the way to the edge of the screen. Even though you get the magic boomerang from them. Huh. Yeah, it's a weird map. It's not perfect, but compared to what else you had at the time. Like, very few games at the time, had any kind of auto map whatsoever. So, you can't fault it too much. Gotta rem remember to go back and, and buy that bomb upgrade when I get five more rupees. Yeah, it's really hard to appreciate in a modern context just how how many things are are staples in video games because of this game. Kind of mind blowing. The 
These things respawn. Well, I don't mind that too much because at least they drop items. And they, they don't hurt me that badly. Yeah, this dungeon so far has been total walk in, uh, walk in the park compared to six. Boomerang just went right through me. This curved stick is boomeranged on me. Okay. Last bomb. Okay, good. Oh, is this going to be the boss room? No. Boss room... Must be uh, south and to the west. Oh my god, all these fairies. It's nuts. It's not so. It's not gonna let me bomb, bomb my way right to the Triforce. That's crazy talk. Hello. Alright, still only three of them. Not too bad. Oh, oh, oh. I'm expecting one of them to just split into eight and just slow the game to a crawl. Sure. Worth a shot. I want to save one for the nose, because I'm assuming I'm going to have to bomb. Oh no. I don't have enough. What about a red candle? No. I don't care about that. Well, since I don't have enough bombs to kill the d kill the Dodongos, I might as well look for secrets instead. Hmm. Very odd. Yeah, I may have to Oh. Wallmasters, hello. Been a while. Oh no. Oh, I just realized how much it sucks to lose the ability to swing your sword in a room with wallmasters. Um. Okay. Is that all? All of them? Does that mean I can? I can push blocks now. So yeah, this does seem to be more of a puzzle dungeon. bombs. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. So now I can bomb my way in here. This will be the boss room. And then I can th get the Triforce. Oh, it's this guy again. Talk about your blasts from the past. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, I don't want to get that just yet, because I still need 
my bomb upgrade. Which I forget exactly where that guy is. I'm sure I'll find him. But first I need a single rupee. Just one. One rupee. I'm not going to get it from these bats. Bats don't carry cash. They're strictly credit only. Alright, this won't be a thing. And neither will this because there's no more room on the minimap or the one up there. Okay. Yeah, you might get something for killing these Dodongos. I'm betting not, though. I bet the Dodongos are a red herring to make you waste all your bombs, so you can't bomb your way. Oh, I never, op I never unlocked that door, uh, so, so you can't bomb your way into the boss room. That's my theory. Yes, a single rupee. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, hello. Okay. Um... Yeah, that is every room on the map explored, it looks like. So now I just have to find the old man and grab the Triforce. Ow. That was weird, it was like the goblin pulled me closer with its boomerang. It was like a scorpion spear attack. The goblin instructed me to get over there, and I did. It does help to get as many rupees as possible still. Because you never know, I might need to replace my shield again, or buy more potions, or whenever I find the silver silver arrows, that might be something I have to buy. Dang it. I should have made a mental note of where the the old man selling the bomb bag was. Because these enemies are respawning a lot, which is preventing me from just traveling around as freely as I would like. I want to say that guy was towards the northwest corner of the dungeon somewhere. Like, it, it wasn't in that secret room, there were just a bunch of rupees there. Oh. Oh. Alright, that's where I fed the goblin. Oi. Reiki. Oh, what a nuisance. Level 8 is gonna kick my ass. After this. It's giving me a break from the whiz robes, but not a permanent one. Come on, this dude has to be around here somewhere.
Oh, I can kill those Denongos now. Not the ones to the left. I've, I've already defeated those. The other Dodongos. Further to the right. Oh wait. I haven't been in every room. There's a room two north and one west that I assume I, I have to bomb my way into. Hello. Another boss room. Weird. I mean, if you can call this a boss. Mini boss, I guess. Another key. So it's not the secret room in the eyeball because that's where you go. Oh, I bet I need. To, yeah, I probably need need to go in there and then. Wait, no, because that that's just where the candle was, right? It didn't circle around. To a different area. Hmm. <laughs> Pardon me, gentlemen. Not gonna get that rupee in time. Oh well. Yeah, so that's just candle. And there was another secret staircase that takes me to another part of the dungeon. Is that where I have to go for the bomb upgrade? I forget where that was too. This is why you draw maps for all of the dungeons. This is why the game advises you to do that. Okay. Right. So I need to push that. Go back around here. No, because that's that's just the boss in the Triforce. Oh crud, I hate my memory. I mean, I had to- actually screw it. I'm going to get the Triforce and then st start the dungeon from the beginning. Because I think it'll be faster to find him that way. And then I won't have to come all the way back here to get the Triforce. I mean, assuming that dude didn't disappear or something. That would suck. I mean, not that I super need to hold 16 bombs, but... Like, I want any- any kind of permanent upgrade I can get, you know? Alright, let's take it from- take it from the top. Or, in this case, the bottom.
I'm not playing as carefully as I should. I shouldn't be losing this much health. Is it here? No, that's just this guy. And there's not nothing in the tip of the chin. Like, I already checked here. Just a bunch of skellies. Oh yeah, I forgot you can hurt yourself on your own fire. Hmm, doesn't really do a lot of damage. I think it's, like, the equivalent of the wooden sword for every... every... I don't know how to, how to describe the interaction. Every every time the fire burns them, it's like one pip of hell. The equivalent of the wooden sword. Ah, this must be it. Yes. Okay. I would like very much to have more bombs. Thank you, sir. Should have killed those Dodongos first. I would have re replenished my bombs. Alright, so now I can pretty much leave. But I might as well go do the one thing that I haven't done in this dungeon. And defeat the, the other set of Dodongos. I didn't need a single potion for this dungeon. How about that? I'm, I might actually complete two dungeons in this video instead of instead of just one. Yeah, the first first video was pretty impressive. I just blew through the first four dungeons like they were nothing. And then dungeon five, and then dungeon six. This one might be seven and eight. I don't know. Depends on how how hard eight is. That's a fun little puzzle. If I couldn't figure it out, figure it out as a kid, that's just because I was a kid, and and kids do not have the most highly developed logical thinking skills. And who knows? This game might have contributed to me learning to think more logically. Like it might have caused me to look at other games in a different way. You know, think think a little bit more laterally. I just want to check something on the map real quick. Sometimes the map indicates when a dungeon has more than one item in it, but this one doesn't. Just the right handle. It does give you the right handle right before the only mandatory bush burning, I think. Because Dungeon 8 is the only time you have to burn a bush to, to progress the plot. And it gives you the right handle before that happens, so... Gotta give the designer some credit there. Okay. I guess I have to go through the eye. And 
then after I defeat the D the Dodongos, I'll probably just save and quit instead of walking back through the dungeon. Save some time. It would be nice if the Warp Whistle returned you to the beginning of the dungeon. If you used it in the dungeon. That's how it works in Link to the Past, right? You can use the... Whatever the the flute or warp whistle equivalent is to warp around the world or warp to the beginning. I think, if I'm remembering that correctly. Oop. 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 Love that expression. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh. And bombs. Excellent. Excellent and cool. Okay, well, if I save and quit, then I'll have to go all the way back to the fairy fountain again. And I mean, I guess I have to do that anyway, because I'll be heading in that direction. Okay. Um, yeah, no deaths yet. Holy cow. I am on a roll. I feel a, a, a sneeze coming on, but it might not be a real one. I can't tell yet. Or, wait, maybe I don't have to go this way anyway. I apologize for that sound effect. Uh... Yeah, I have to go this way. Alright, maybe, uh... Maybe trying to... Find some of the extra secrets will be a post level 8 detour. Especially if I haven't found this, the silver arrows by then. Because the map indicates that I will find the book and the magic key in Dungeon 8, which the magic key pretty much useless at that point. It's just the skeleton key that can unlock any door, and the book will make my wand shoot fireballs, so... Neither of those are the silver arrow. I hope there aren't secrets in just random bushes. Well, speak of the devil. Oh, medicine. Well, that's neat, I guess. I, I don't need another medicine lady. I'm happy with my current doctor, thank you. I guess I can at least try burning four bushes at once with us, which is kind of cool. I never actually looked in this desert. Like, I just saw big, a big expanse of sand, and I was like, ooh, scary, don't, wa don't want to get lost in the desert. But, as far as I know, there's no trick to it or anything. No. Do I keep the meat or did I give it up? I gave it up. Wait, do you have to re rebuy the meat? No, it's, it's a... It's a reusable item normally, right? I guess just for the purposes of solving that puzzle, you have to actually give it to him instead of just use it. Man, I'm rich. What will I do with this bounty of rupees? No 
Oh yeah. That doesn't actually deal that much damage. I mean, the wand fireball better do more damage than the candle fireball. Or I will be peeved. There's that sneeze wanting to come back up. I think I've already checked... Oh? Oh, there is a shop that sells a single individual heart. Also, this is the cheapest shield in the game, so... Or the, the cheapest shield that I've seen so far. So I want to make a note of this one real quick. I will be... With you momentarily. Sorry. Okay, well... Plenty more rock faces that I haven't tried bombing. I think I have tried these. Good job. I was going to go to Dungeon 8, but I kind of feel like taking advantage of my newfound power and mobility. Well, mo mobility that comes from power. And just checking some stuff out. Now that you can kill the ghosts in three hits instead of six, or was it four, four instead of eight, that makes this a much more attractive uh, resource area. One, two, three. Yeah, it's, it's three hits instead of six. I was kind of hoping they would drop bombs. Eight, nine, ten. Or is, is nine the maximum? Well, ten the, looks like ten is the maximum, including the original, which I have now lost, unfortunately. Uh, because I was I was counting how many ghosts it would allow me to spawn. So it looks like ten on screen at the same time, including the original. Have I tried bombing any of this stuff? I feel like I have. I think in, in one of my sessions I just laid a line of bombs kind of haphazardly across that wall. Which doesn't mean anything, necessarily. Alright, I swear I thought I remembered some sort of secret with the other trees at the dead end. So I just want to go check that out real quick. And try burning some bushes along the way. Or trees. I figure, I assume these are trees, even though they're not quite to scale. They're pretty clearly intended to be trees. Dang, I can kill the blue ones in one hit. It's pretty good. Yeah, 
Yeah, some of the trees you'll you'll just never be able to. Well, I guess I can get a good ang angle on them this way. Not these though. need to stop walking into my fire. That's a bad strategy. Boy, it's a real good thing this isn't the kind of game where fires cause a chain reaction. Oh, why did I do that? I knew on some level that was going to happen. Thank you! I just reminded myself of the voice clip from Light Crusader, where they say thank you. I kind of had the same intonation there. Thank you! That's my impression of Light Crusader. Or the Mega Sega Drive. Not a dissimilar game to this, actually. Alright, is this cave always on the map, or did I have to bomb to find it? This cave is always on the map. Well, if there is a secret that can be found by burning these trees... That was the wrong thing. I don't know why I selected that. If there's a secret that can be found by burn, burning or bombing the trees, I have enough resources to find out now. I mean, I know I already tried burning them with the blue candle, but I thought the red candle might be different. Okay, there's nothing going on with these trees. Or this wall. Just, just trees and just a wall. The flute doesn't do anything to them. Doesn't reverse time and make them grow branches so that they drop the fruit of life. I assume not. Okay. I am hilariously misremembering stuff then. But I still have eight bombs. Okay, well, enough dawd dawdling. It is time to see what lies inside dungeon number eight. I've tried burning all these bushes, right? Or was that a different screen with several bushes? There are so many screens with several bushes in different configurations. Bite my ass. Door repair charge. How is a tree a door? And how does it cost that much to plant another tree? I think I think that's a scam, to be honest. I think that's a, fr a frivolous lawsuit. I could upgrade to red medicine, but eh. Like, there's so many stones unturned and bushes unburned. Like, so many places there could potentially be a secret. I feel like it would take me forever to find the last two heart containers. Oh. 
Oh no, not after what happened last time. I'm like, sure, 10 rupees? What's the harm? Suddenly I'm down 40. Bupkis. That's, that's bunko. What if there was a secret door right here the whole time? And I just never tried. I think I have tried. Oh my god, look at all these bushes. That's too many. That's too many bushes. And I, I think I've already checked several of them with the blue candle. Not that one. Oh my god, how many medicine ladies are there? Like, I'm good on medicine game. I know where a good supply is. Game really wants me to have medicine. Most games of this era were anti-drug. My anti-drug is medicine. My anti-drug is quote-unquote medicine. Well, so far, this has not been a very fruitful exercise. Is there going to be one of these on, like, every screen? A medicine lady and or a door repair curmudgeon? Yeah, I definitely misremembered that aspect of the game. Because I, I thought all the door repair stuff was in dungeons. I didn't know it was in the overworld. Nothing on this screen. Been pretty thorough. Okay, on to the next one. And I can no longer assume it's just going to be individual trees. It could be some of these outer edge ones, too. Yeah, this is probably my least favorite aspect of the, ga of the game. Which makes sense, because it was the thing that they immediately fixed in the, the next game in the series, by which I mean Link to the Past, because I haven't played Zelda 2, and I don't know to what extent this is still a thing. But yeah, th this part of it is kind of some, some Mylon Secret Castle bullshit. How come, how come I can't use my ladder to, to go out one, one step in, into the lake? I could do that Sometimes. Very strange. I play this is different water somehow. Come here, you. I need vitality. I mean, not really. I was at 99% vitality, but I want to shoot my sword. 
Mom, I want to shoot my sword. We have shoot your sword at home, son. Shoot your sword at home is lame. It's just the wand. It doesn't do as much damage as the magic sword. Uh. All zoomers know is shoot your sword. It's never going to have more than one secret on a screen, right? Like, that's an assumption, but I, I think it's a reasonable one. Door repair. Oh. Never mind. I, I retract my- ooh! Oh, that's not- never mind. I was like, well, that's level 8, so there might be something else, but that's not level 8. I forget what that was. Probably, uh, secret to everyone. And I'm sure I, I've tried burning all, all of these. I shouldn't have even tried burning bushes until I had the right handle. Like, what was I thinking? Why would I leave the screen and come back? Like, obviously, that's not going to be a thing that they expect you to do. Uh, well, that's a secret you find by pushing a rock. Which, I assume there's also not going to be, like, there's not going to, going to be different kinds of secret staircases, I bet. Okay. Yeah, if I ever play this game again, which I'm sure I will, I'm not going to use blue candles to try to burn, try to burn bushes. Unless it's something that you have to do for the second quest, which that would suck. Ooh. Ooh. That's handy. I mean, I don't need anything right now, but... I like having some dosh. I like having some walking around money. Okay. Dungeon 8. I've wasted too much time. Some of these moblins would like to drop bombs. That would be appreciated. I should probably buy some bombs before I go into Dungeon 8. Even though the overworld is the same for the second quest, I assume that the, the secrets are shuffled and you're not going to be able to, to burn the same bushes and, and I'm pretty sure that the dungeon layouts are different. It is expensive. I don't want any of that crap. I mean, I could buy the meat again, but I don't think there's going to be a situation where I'll need it. I think I've tried burning a lot of these bushes, but not all of them. Yeah, I shouldn't have even wasted my time with the blue candle. Honestly. 
I don't even need to stun these things. Just stab them as soon as they wake up. Now I'm playing with power. Huh. Right. Yeah, there's not going to be a second secret staircase here. This is a bomb shop, isn't it? I think it is. And I got some free bombs. No, not a bomb shop. Hang on, I want to write this down. Okay, next bomb shop is... Three west, one north, one west. Then I'll head to level eight. First, I'll try bombing some of these walls. Cause who knows? You never know. Okay, two hundred and three uh, rupees. I can't roll my R my R's as nicely as I used to. at 3 west. No. That might have been 3 west. Yeah, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna stock up, which means going back and forth a bunch of times. Wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have to wait for the, for the text scroll every time. Scroll? Scroll. Scroll slash crawl. Okay. 15 is probably good enough. Oh, do I want to buy the meat again? And if I do, do I want to go all the way back to the shop where it's cheaper? Or do I want to just pay, pay 100? I can even rem remember where that was. It was under a bush somewhere, right? Yeah, I might as well. It might come in handy. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I really don't know. I've almost never used it. Like, I saw how effective it was the first time I got it as a kid. And I was like, eh. And it only works on certain enemies. Like, I guess it's working on them, but they can still shoot arrows, so... Yeah, it stays in, in my inventory after that. Good. Like, yeah, like, they can still shoot at you. Being hungry doesn't prevent them from being violent. It just redirects their violence in a certain direction. Ooh, silvery. Ooh! I read the manual. This thing is called a manhandler. Does manhandler like meat? No. Oh, maybe it does. Who knows? Who can tell? <gasps> yeah, like, if it stayed, like, hanging around the meat when it got really fast, that would have been useful. Not a sausage. Here we go. 
Well, now that I have the magic sword, these knights should be less of an issue. Yeah, I can one-shot the red ones. And, I assume, two-shot the blue ones. Ow. Alright, check for secrets first. And I'm still at the bottom edge, right? Yeah. I have a feeling this dungeon will be confusing. Oh, no, it just gives me the book. Right off the bat, I was expecting more than that. Like, convoluted twisty passages. Now here's a question. Does the wand fireball... Oh, it creates a fireball when the beam hits something. Okay. Because I was worried it would replace the beam with the fireball and cause it to do less damage if it did, you know, handle damage. But I still have the beam. It just has an extra bonus. I wonder how exactly the manual describes the book. Hang on. Link picks up the magic book and learns some new spells. He can chant some fiery spells and send out flames. Okay, so I think that's what made me assume that's how that worked. I'm glad it doesn't. Can I use that that fire to light up a room? I can. Well, that... <laughs> that totally, uh... Makes the red candle I just found obsolete. I mean, not, not obsolete, because I still need it to find secrets in the overworld, but... Has less of an impact. Although, I guess you never need more than one flame in a dungeon anyway, so... Who cares? Do these death ghosts like meat? No, they're they're indifferent to it. I don't know if that's because they're vegan or because ghosts just don't have to eat. I mean, I know I'm getting hungry just looking at it. I love I love a good bone loaf. Hi, fella. Yeah, Link can just destroy this thing with the magic sword. I mean, it destroys me a little bit at the same time. Assuming these things are immune to the wand. Yeah. And fire. I think they're immune to everything but a good old stabbing. I don't think they particularly care about me, no. Yeah, they're immune to wooden arrows. They're not immune to bombs, I don't think. But it's also not as damaging as the magic sword. That helps. This is entirely too many fireballs for this room. This is how it's going to crank up the difficulty on me now. Ah. with just infinite fireballs. Ah, these things. 
So, Vice Commando left a comment, and I think it jarred to memory. Yeah. So, the Pole's voice does have a weakness, which isn't as important now that I have the magic sword. Because they only take three hits to die instead of 12. But yeah, these things are weak to arrows. And I don't know if that's the case in the Japanese version as well, or if that's just something that they added to counterbalance the fact that you can't yell into the microphone. Alright, haven't been left or up, right? Okay. Take care of the pole's voice. Also, the arrow travels through them, which is nice. Oh boy. I should probably check each of these blocks to see if they're pushable, right? Because that's the kind of crap it's going to start throwing at me. I'm good. Almost not good on bombs, though. Running low. It's nice to be able to have the wand ready and not have to switch to a candle if the room is dark. That's it for my bombs, for now. I have to leave and buy some more. I will. Oh, it's my friend. Crabby One-Eye. Ooh, this one's tougher. It's like a real classic boss design with pattern and everything. Hit it three times. That's a Nintendo ass boss fight. The Mummy Man. Ow. Ow. Stop turning. I don't practice very efficient menu navigation. Boy, these guys are lucky I have my magic sword. Otherwise, I would be quite angry to encounter a room like this. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'll pop my potion. Sorry. Maybe I should nap a mute button to my controller so I can mute it when that happens. And interestingly, I find that way less annoying than the, the low health beep in this one.
Which is weird, because I remember hating the low health beep as a kid. Like, in general, I hate repetitive noises like that. But it's less bothersome in this game than in some of the other Zelda games, I think. You again, huh? Come on. Oh no. Ah, dang it. Ooh. Map. And it's a dragon head? Facing left? No, no, I'm not sure. What does... What does the manual say this is? Oh, right, this is the lion. Okay. Because you get the magic key, which looks like a lion head. I can see it. It looks sort of liony. I should probably try to bomb my way into the lion's eye, since I only have the one. I'm sure this is something. Oh. Yep, it was something. These rupee rooms are a tad underwhelming. Red. Ah, dang it. This one's bad because there are fireballs too. Or more fireballs than last time. I don't... I think last time it was just... Just the boss's fireballs. Ah. This is a good dungeon. I, I feel like it is uh, fairly balanced for the stuff that I have at this point in the game. So far, the only unbalanced dungeon I think has been Dungeon 6. And honestly, I probably should have had the Magic Sword by then. Because I should have gotten the other two heart containers. Well, there's a magic key. Not that we've had a shortage of keys at any point. So yeah, now now the number of keys I have is A, which, stan which stands for awesome. All the keys. It's uh, probably just hexadecimal for one more than nine. Well, that's nice of it, because I wanted to bomb some of these walls. Don't need to bomb north. <clears throat> I mean, I got both the dungeon items, so now it is just to the boss. We're finding my way to the boss. Hmm. Ah. Uh a little too easy to go back through these doorways when I just want to back up a little bit. Yeah, it's probably worth breaking out the bow and arrow for this. Nice of them to drop some ammunition for me. Well, probably the boss to the south of here, right? Well, no, because I would be able to hear it ro roaring by now. Hmm. 
Oh, this is just where the the rupees were. Oh, well, it's not going to let me bomb my way into the Triforce room. So it looks like it's time to circle around. I think I've bombed... Or I've tried to bomb all of the right hand walls here. Have I been to the right? I haven't. Okay. So, I have to clear out this room. Come here, fairy. Come here, fairy. Thank you. Thank you for your magic fairy powers. Ah. 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 Intriguing. Am I sure I haven't been this way? Yeah, that that room was definitely not filled in before this. So I wonder where this leads. Probably to the part of the dungeon that has the boss. I'm kind of not expecting to get another bomb bag upgrade because I've already doubled the starting amount of bombs. Ooh. I think it just gave me bombs. I'll take them. I wonder if it would be better to use the wand on the knights. Ah, uh, right. I can't just shoot and not worry about it anymore because now I, I have fire to deal with. Oh wait, the wand doesn't work on the knights, never mind. Oh, hi. Alright, well, I'm gonna have kind of low health going into this boss. But depending on what it is, it should be doable. And there's not going to be another set of stairs in this room. There might be something this way, though. No. So, I've already been south. Hmm. There is a room on the map that I haven't filled in. And it looks like I'm... So th this way it's going to have me circle, circle around and fight the boss, I'm sure. And then there might be a bomb bombable wall in the boss room? It feels like that's not usually a thing, but it might be. Switch back to the wand just in case it's a dark room. Tenth enemy has the bomb. Tenth um, enemy. Well, it's letting me bomb my way into the boss chamber. Maybe it'll let me bomb my way back out to- Oh, this guy again. Oh, man. Alright, well. I have the magic sword, and I don't think anything else really works on it. So... Uh, yeah, I've, I've tried bombing this thing before, right? Yeah, like it sort of flashed, but I think that was just because of the slowdown. That wasn't a pain, a pain flash. Oh, this one has four heads. It's the most heads yet, I think. 
do dragon heads like meat. Oh, for a second I thought they were actually going for it, but I, I don't think so. No. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Ah, damn it, I was so close. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to go heal and buy more potions, even though it means I'm going to have to redo some of those rooms. None of them were super challenging rooms. You know, none, none of them were whiz road rooms, so I'm not going to worry about, about it too much. So... Closest fairy fountain... Is over yonder. Okay. And along the way, I'm sure I'll bump into one of those dozens of medicine women I met under the bushes, under the trees, and pick up a potion. See, this was an item shop. Should kill some moblins and try to get some more bombs. Or I can buy some more. I can do that and a potion. Alright, that, that leads to level 2. Nice! Inf enemy has the bomb. No idea what that could mean. I mean, there are only nine dungeons, so it can't mean the tenth boss. And it's not like this game has a bomb upgrade system. I mean, you can upgrade your bomb capacity, but not like the power of the bomb. Eh. Where's, where's all the medicine ladies? I, I know, I just, I just checked there. I can unlock as many doors as I want. Probably should have marked the location of the medicine ladies. Also, you cannot use the wand to burn bushes. I had misremembered the way that works. The wand doesn't replace the candle. It only replaces it for the purpose of lighting up rooms. Alright, I'm not going to go all the way back to where I know one of the medicine women is. There has to be one around here somewhere. Also, have I tried all these bushes? I have. Alright, was this a medicine lady? Or a cranky old man. Cranky old man. Or... A uh, rupee goblin. Alright, full bombs. Full health. Full potion. Full arrows. By which I mean more than one. I am ready to defeat a Hydra. That's what that is, right? Like a Hydra is any multi-headed dragon. It's confusing because 
the prefix Hydra makes me assume that it's some sort of aquatic dragon. But I think that's a false etymology. I, I think the Hydra, the reason it's called that, doesn't have anything to do with water. Oh, I could have sworn I've tried both of these bushes. Oh, great. <sighs> and then he, then he just disappears after that. Oi. Well, hope I don't lose my shield anytime soon. Twenty rupees to replace a door. And he doesn't even live there anymore. Grumble grumble. After this I'm gonna eat me a bone loaf. Or a meat pop. Sounds pretty good. Alright, once more into the breach. to deal with these rooms. Still not as bad as Wizrobes. Also, I apologize if I have accidentally said Wizorbs at any time. Uh, I've definitely said Wizorb more in the past several years than, than Wizrobe. That was a pretty good game. I streamed that game at one point. It's like Arkanoid Quest. Had art by Paul Robinson before he was quite as huge as he eventually got. It was a good ass game. I don't know if I 100%ed uh, it. Oh, I got that strategy. Alright, so this should be a passage, right? No. Well, how do I get in there? Ah. Ack. There is a pinball quest game on the NES that I, that I discovered recently. And it's just called Pinball Quest. So I don't know how I didn't learn about it before. Like, it came out in the 80s. It's not like a modern homebrew game or anything. But someone made a pinball game with RPG mechanics for the Nintendo. Which seems like super way ahead of its time. Okay. So, have I tried bombing north from this room? Oh wait, there's a shutter there. That I never went in? Okay. Well... Ah. Yep. Spectacle Rock. Good old Spectacle Rock. Nothing beats that. I think it's called that because the two rocks side by side look like a pair of glasses. A pair of, a pair of spectacles. Like, I don't think it's called that because it's a grand vista or, or anything. Um... 
Which, if that is the case, I think that's kind of tenuous. Of a hint. Because I don't think they, they look much like glasses, just because they're two round things sitting next to each other. Okay, do I have to go through that staircase? Yeah, that's right. Like, I was thinking both of the staircases in this dungeon lead to magic items, but, but there is a third staircase. Oh, come on. Boy, getting that clock could be bad. Because then one of the knights might have been stuck in a place where you couldn't hit it. No? That was a magic item room. Okay. Well, I have two potions at my disposal. So, I have some time. I think I have to go in here, but I wanted to check. No, I do have to go in here because this is that third staircase. Appreciate the clock, slime bunny. Oh, I don't need to fight these? So I won't. Someone set up us the bomb? Alright, gotta be careful. I'm, I'm going to have my potion ready to use. Because there's no reason to have another item equipped for this fight. Luckily the heads still take the same number of hits and... They do the same amount of damage. Alright. Mission complete. Seventh dungeon conquered. Last piece of the Triforce. Get. It is just on to Death Mountain. That is a whole ass Triforce. I kind of want to keep going, but I know I shouldn't. Um, well, how long is this recording? 
Two hours and 20 minutes. Um... I'm concerned because I still don't still don't have silver silver arrows and I know I will need them at some point. And I'm worried it's something I'm going to have to hunt for. You know what? The last video was three hours. I can- I can keep doing this. I can keep going. I'm not gonna say for sure that I will finish level 9, so the next video might be extremely short, uh, if I mostly finish level 9, but I can't quite get there. But I wanna keep going. I mean, as much as I want to eat my celebratory bone loaf, I'm kinda curious what Dungeon 9 holds. Hmm, that's the best way to get there. I guess it doesn't really matter. I feel slightly more comfortable going this route. Full up on bombs still. Still full up on potion. Let's not go through the desert. No reason, just superstition. People who get lost easily generally don't like deserts. Rule of thumb. Oh, I bet there's something under one of these bushes, huh? Yes, I better go around systematically burning all of, all of these bushes. So I have a shield with with a cross on it, book with a cross on it, the, that looks somewhat like a Bible, and I'm going around burning bushes. But no, no, no religious symbolism at Nintendo. I know they're trees. But they look like bushes. Which is the important thing. Dang, nothing? No secrets, no treasure? If you say so. Where are you? All right, there has to be something on the screen. Like, there just has to. You wouldn't arrange bushes like this if there wasn't something. Alright, well... Oh, that's interesting. It won't even let you throw the fire if you're standing too close to the edge of the screen. Alright, well, second quest, definitely, there's going to be something there. Mark my words. Quote me on that. Second quest, for sure. Uh, I wanna keep 
going... Well, I can go up first and then keep going. Like, I at least want to see what the old man says when I have all of the Triforce pieces. Uh, is this right? No, I want to go up this ladder. Go through this Mandelbrot set. Oh, and here we are. Although, you know, this, the Spectacle Rock can not super useful, but the the map does give you a more explicit hint. Uh, the two huge rocks high on Death Mountain are known by the people as Spectacle Rock. Okay, so the, ma the manual tells you what Spectacle Rock means. That's good. Mostly I just wanted to hear the different music. Alright, so I may end up facing down Ganon without the Silver Arrow, and I don't know what's going to happen in that case. He's not even here. Well, I guess they have to make him disappear, or else I wouldn't be able to go north. Oh, well, I hope that old man is doing okay wherever he is. Oh yeah, Magic Sword versus Wiz Robes. A much fairer fight. Although I'm still still taking a billion damage, but that's okay. the The red ring is here somewhere. Am I at the bottom edge? No. Ooh! A new type of centipede. Ooh, that was damage. Oh, do you hit- do you attack its tail, not its head? Interesting. Ow, ow! Red ring? No, of course not. Hmm. Oof. This is a lot of secret passages. It's a lot of wizard robes. And like likes. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. All right, like likes cannot get onto the ladder or cross lava. So as, lo as long as I'm on, on lava, I'm safe. Thanks! Oh, that would be the foyer. Giving me keys after it gives me the magic key. This cheeky game. I always thought that white circle on the whiz robe, on the front of the whiz robes, was a mouth. Like, they always reminded me of stiff s sniffets from Mario 2. Oh boy.
I would like to keep exploring. Thank you very much. And I'm not too far away from being able to buy another potion. So yeah, the wand does absolutely nothing against them. Oh, I'll keep it equipped anyway. Ow. Oh, Jesus! These enemies are too tough for level 9. How are they in level 6? That's absurd. That's the height of ab absurdity. No wonder everyone quits on level 9 or on, on level 6. Scarred on me with robes. Passing through. Dang, how many times did I ask for this exact situation? And that room is butts. I'm sure there's going to be pushable block in there somewhere. Hmm. Ow. I would very much like to remove the like likes from the equation first. because not being able to swing my sword when there are like likes around is a scary proposition. <sighs> oh, this dungeon is going to ruin me. I can already tell. But it is the ninth dungeon. I wonder if- oh, I bet like likes like meat. They're made of meat. Everyone likes stuff that's made of the stuff that they are. I mean, I'm made of meat and I like meat. Of course, you can only use it once per screen, I think, and it doesn't last forever. Nope, like likes don't care. There's also not a fairy fountain close to this dungeon. Or a quick way to get back to a fast travel point. There is a lady who sells potions right next door though. But the problem with potions is they ain't free. And it is giving me a decent amount of, of rupees, a decent number of rupees.
Okay, not finding much, so the answer probably has to do with clearing some of these rooms. Which sucks. I, ha I hate that for me. Oh, I am so going to lose my shield. If I lose my shield, I think I might choose retry or save. Well, no, not save. It has to be retry. Like it'll start me from the from the beginning, but actually, I should probably use save states and figure out exactly how that works. There might be a fairy fountain nearby. Like that part of that part of the map isn't notated super well on my map. And that's my fault. You know, I want to keep things rolling. I don't want to constantly take breaks. Oh wait, here we go. Wait, never mind. No, I thought I was somewhere I haven't been before. But I have been here. Jeez, these things are... Okay. The centipedes will, will hunt you down. I can't believe it gave me a key. Like, honestly, I'm disgusted. How dare you, video game. It's hard to imagine key is ever being an issue in this game. Like, I got so many... I've, n I've never run out of keys. I've never had to buy keys. Alright, so this was... Right, this was this... this I never actually went through here. Okay. I was like, I'll come back to this. Sorry, excuse me for one moment. Okay, sorry about that. I had to respond to a message. And uh, I will probably wrap it up here at my next death. I just wanted a little preview of what this dungeon will actually be like. It'll be like hell. Do I have another potion use? Yeah, I do. Yeah, consider this like a scouting mission. I was really hoping I would locate the red ring because that would make everything else so much easier if I do decide to go exploring. Honestly, I don't think- ooh! I don't think, uh, two heart containers will do that much for me, though. Two extra heart containers. Okay, I kinda wanna... ...use my potion and kill this thing. This is a new enemy. Two new enemies in the last dungeon. Oh, what do I do? Oh, what what do I do? 
Um... Arrows. Meat. Music. Manual. Meat, music, manual. The, the three M's. Let's see, any, any hints about this thing? Patra attacks in groups and two types of formations. Both formations are strong, so be on your toes. It didn't seem like the the wand was doing much. What does it mean by Oh. Okay. So I have to kill the small ones. before I can kill the big ones. This reminds me of that Sonic 2 boss with uh, all the Robotnik bubbles. Oh, Sonic 2, right? Or, or was that Sonic and Knuckles? Also, what did I just get? Bombs? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have bombs before. Hmm. Yeah, that was the boss of, like, the Metropolis Zone, right? I think a version of that boss reappeared in Sonic & Knuckles, though. Go to the, the next room. Okay. Okay, there's only one next room, so I will. Oh no! I have been trolled! Who could have foreseen this? Turn of events. Alright, definitely a secret staircase in this room, right? Which must be where the red ring is. Which means I cannot die. I must never die. Not the red ring yet. Maybe they're just assuming that you might not find the magic key. I kind of thought the, the point of the magic key was to... Oh, jeez. Oh, these are fast. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's gotta be where the red ring is. Oh, this sucks. This sucks so bad. Alright. I need to get on the other side of this thing. Okay. Uh, I thought the point of the magic key was to, like, go back and get stuff from dungeons that you haven't gotten yet. Alright, there's still going to be bats. Oh, no, it's not the key. Or it's not the ring. I've been bamboozled. Did it just send me around in a loop? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Huh. It's a weird room. Oh, it's taking the form of a skull. I can already see it. What if there was a fairy spring inside the castle? That 
That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, this will just loop me back around. I'm gonna have to kill that, the fly monster. Oh jeez. I have to kill the whiz robes again? Okay, well. Uh, I have enough to buy the red potion again. I'm going to cut my losses. There's no way I'm, I'm going to make any more progress. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the end of this video and see what part of the, what part of the dungeon that was so so I know where to go next time. You don't get the somber music when you do it this way. Forty nine deaths. Well, I made so much progress. I have everything except the red ring and the silver arrow. That's it. That's all I need. And I'm pretty sure I know where one of those things is. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been very exciting. Uh, I might do a little bit more exploration. Probably not too much though, because I don't want to get too hyper fixated on on finding everything because we'll just be here forever. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. Join the Discord if you're not al already in the Discord. We have some cool people in there, including me. You can talk to your favorite internet celebrity, Duke of the Pump. Um, it's duke.zone slash discord uh, is how you, how you get there. If you, if you have discord, like if you don't have discord, I wouldn't download it just for my chat room because there's only like, you know, 10 people active in there. And I mean, we're, we're cool, but it, it's not like a constant stream of, uh, you know, dialogue or anything, but if you're if you already have Discord, then no reason not to join it, right? Duke.zone slash Discord. I'll see you there. Take care everyone. Goodbye.